Grand Seiko has been one of my favorite brands in the last few years. As you know, I have had quite a few of their models. I could even say that I have had up to 15 in the last two years. But as my grandma used to say, the biggest disappointments come from the ones we love the most. Now, why has Grand Seiko been my number one favorite brand? Because it is a brand that I could afford to buy. It is not overly expensive. And within its not overly expensive price range, they were watches that offered extremely high quality with spectacular finishing, comparable to watches much more expensive and with new and different technology. Now, these are watches that I consider without a doubt could cost more. And I think I beat my tongue because the new generation of Grand Seiko watches have a higher price now. Now, one would think that being a brand known for its finishing and quality, watches that cost 50 or 60% more than the previous versions would be 50 or 60% better. Now let me introduce you to the new evolution of Grand Seiko, which is this white birch. It is a spectacular watch that basically has two versions, the automatic high beat and the string drive version. Now I don't understand why if they cost the same the automatic version has better finishing and a much more spectacular dial. In fact, spring drive movements are what characterize Grand Seiko. But first, let's focus on the good things and then, then we'll see. Now, Grand Seiko shows a huge evolution in this new generation of watches. We have a much more ergonomic case, lighter, and something very important, they finally put in 22 mm strap lugs. In my opinion, it looks kind of weird. I would have preferred 20 millimeter lugs instead of 22 millimeters. It is a bit large, especially for a watch that looks so elegant. The dial is inspired by the bark of a tree with an acceptable finish. It's not as spectacular as what Grand Seiko usually offer, but it is acceptable. It has a good texture, the Grand Seiko logo as always, it's very, very good quality, the markers are perfectly polished, and the hands also have a change. They are a bit larger, a bit thicker, and have different finishing, which I personally don't like. I feel like it looks like a more rugged watch. The truth is, I had to make an effort to say something good about this watch, because honestly, I have very, very few good things to say. It is comfortable, it is acceptably beautiful and that's it. Now let's start with the basics. The price of this watch is $9,000. Well, previous Grand Seiko watches had a price between five and 6,000. And believe me, I never thought I would be the person who would be strongly criticizing a Grand Seiko watch. But as my parents used to say, I do it because I love you. Now this watch gives me the idea that Grand Seiko stopped putting in the effort. While the case finishing is very good with acceptable Saratsu polishing and the bezel has a change, it is no longer polished but brushed, which I think is a good change. But let's go a little bit deeper. I'll show you two images of two movements and I'll ask you to please tell me which one looks more worked on. And just from the photo, I could tell you that the one that looks better finished, at least to me, is the one from the previous versions. Now the movement did get an improvement because now it has five day power reserve and they placed the indicator on the back, which is great. It is a good innovation, thanks. Now regarding the finishing, if you ask me, it looks very industrial finish. It looks sandblasted with some well-finished vessels. I mean, it's, it's a well-finished movement, but in my opinion, it leaves something to be desired. Now I want to compare this movement to the movement of the Tentagraph, which is from the same generation and would be basically the same as what the automatic version of the White Birch offers. And I think the difference is abysmal. The automatic version looks like a caliber of a 50 or $60,000 watch, while the other one doesn't. And I repeat, it's not badly finished. It's only because of the standards that Grand Seiko had set before that I think it falls short. And now comes what I believe is the detail that hurt me the most. And to make my point, I'm going to compare it to a Grand Seiko from my own collection that cost me around $5,000.
And here I ask you again, which of these two bracelets look better finished? Which one looks more elegant, better crafted, and which one shines better? One of the things I loved about Grand Seiko was the feeling of having a watch with a superior finish to the price I was paying. It was a watch that literally shone when the sunlight hit it, not just the bracelet but also the case and the markers. However, and I think that the images won't lie, this one looks like a bracelet that Grand Seiko didn't have the time to finish. It has the same 5 piece links, but this time no part of the bracelet was polished. And I repeat, once you see everything, maybe it doesn't look so bad. Maybe this watch without the context of the previous models wouldn't be a bad value proposition. But if you take into account everything Grand Seiko had produced before this bracelet, in my opinion, it looks ugly. And I repeat, and I want to make this very clear. This is an incredible watch. The technology it has is spectacular, but I truly feel that the essence of what makes this Japanese brand great has deviated a bit. I understand that changes and improvements have to cost more. That's clear to me. But no matter how much they have improved the movement, in quotation marks, because yes, they improved the power reserve, I think in this aspect, Grand Seiko fell short. And I ask again Grand Seiko, why? If the spring drive movement is one of the most important things you have, is maybe your flagship movement, why does it feel like the automatic movement of this version gets all of the good things? The incredible dial, the highly decorated movement, well this one feels less. The truth is that when I bought this watch I bought it online and I thought that like any other Grand Seiko I would fall in love with it, but no. Don't get me wrong. Grand Seiko continues to be one of my favorite brands. You, you can't judge a brand by just one watch. But let me know what do you think. Do you think my comments are justified or am I exaggerating? And guys, remember, more than 90% of you are not subscribed to the channel. So if you like talking about watches, the market, click the subscribe button, activate the bell, and I'll see you here next time.